Voodoo people, voodoo children, welcome to a very, very special live stream, very close to my heart. My name is Nick Fish, and this is a tribute to voodoo at Pitt Street Sublime, Sydney. If you were there in 1996 when the night started to 2000, you would have experienced a great era in clubbing in Sydney on a Friday night. We ran a back room, myself and Jumping Jack were the resident DJs in the back room, we called it. And we played three hour sets each. That's two sets in the night, six hours. And we took turns rotating. I'd do the first set from 10 to one. And then I'd do the following week from one to four. That gave us an opportunity to play a variety of different types of trance from the softer side of music to harder beats, to hard trance, to techno, to hard house, even if you want to call it that, hard dance music. Quick story about it, fact check me on this. And uh, so back in 1995, 96, I released a little mixtape before I did CDs and I called it Voodoo. There was no club called Voodoo at the time. There was no club called Sublime. Figure that one out. Then a few months later, I was playing at a club night. we come out of the rave scene from the 90s to 95. Myself and Jumping Jack were sort of always playing side by side. We became friends through that scene of the uh, rave era. I didn't know him before that, just met him in, behind the decks. We soon realised a lot of the DJs had sort of peeled away by mid-90s to do other things away from the rave scene and the club music stuff and we decided we wanted to go forward. We could see this new music evolving, this trance and techno and we needed a club and there were some club nights. There was the underground Friday night that was run for a few years. That's the uh, Candy's apartment if you want to know what that club was. A huge crowd on a Friday night for that, ran all night, that was fantastic. But we needed something more. We heard about a club called Sublime. It was a, built as a super club. So I, I found the phone number. I called the club, got a, an answering machine at the time. I said, I'm Nick Fish, DJ in the rave scene. Played at some clubs. Myself and Jumping Jack want to talk to you about doing a club night on a Friday. Nobody rang us back. A few months later, I was in a club DJing um, at King's Cross Hotel. It was a club night. John Wall, Ming Gan, they're the fuzzy promoters that did field day, went on to do field day. They turned up at this club, they were waiting in the wings when I finished playing a set. They said, we want to have a chat to you, Nick. We've got an idea for a Friday night. It's uh, you and Jumping Jack playing in the back room at this new club called Sublime. We know you guys play a bit more underground and a bit more not mainstream, so we want to give you this back room, an opportunity to see if you can do something with it. So we're like, yeah, hell yeah, what are you going to call the night? Voodoo. Voodoo at Sublime. Join the dots there, but I, it was one of my best times ever in uh, playing music. I loved it. It was my favourite era from 96 to 2000. 2000, we moved on to another club with the Sublime brand, something completely different. So today I'm here to celebrate the music for 1996 to 2000. If you were there, here we go. Let's get on with the music. That's the story so far. Damals wusste ich nicht, war auch nichts mit mir geschieht. Doch jetzt, wo ich hiermit weiß, ich wo ich hingehöre. Ich gehöre zum Verfall. Und der Verfall gehört zu mir. Wie das Tageslicht zur Sonne. Wir werden sehen, wo die ganze Fahrt hinfällt. Doch ich bin mir ziemlich sicher, dass wir mal die Nacht kommen. Der Verfall beginnt.
Did that mix on a CD down underground 001. Pretty sure it was these tracks. This kind of stuff, if you're at Voodoo Sublime on a Friday night, Pitt Street, and I was playing the earlier set, 10 to 1, I'd be building it up. Tracks like this. And that's exactly what I'm going to do today. Build it up from here. Stick with me, guys. Thanks for being here. Hope you're liking the tunes so far. Thanks for giving up your afternoon to spend it with me. Really do appreciate it. Wherever you are in Sydney in lockdown or around Australia in the world, welcome to the party. Send a very special shout out and much love to my partner in crime at the time, DJ Jumping Jack. This is one of the tracks he broke at Voodoo. So if you, if you love Jumping Jack at Voodoo and you really knew his style, then you know this was his track that he broke at the club. Can you feel the heat? The Carl Young Project. My name's Nick Fish. Respect to the Jumping Jack. Thank you. 
This is the real sound of the underground.
love a track with acid build-ups and epic synth breakdowns like this. Really emotional kind of music at the time, wasn't it? Were you there in the back room with me, Pitt Street Sublime? At Voodoo? If you weren't, you are now. So in 1999, I headed to Berlin. It was the second time I'd been to Germany. In 94, uh, I went over there to a club in um, Frankfurt called Dorian Gray and discovered all these sort of trance, hard trance sounds and a record shop there, which is where I got a lot of this sort of music. So when I went into Sublime, that sort of era I'd been going, uh, I was able to collect that music. So I went back in 1999 to Berlin Love Parade. 1.5 1.5 million people in one day in one street, one big party. I bought this track, it's called Crass. Brought it back and played it. That would have been about July, August of 1999. That's probably about, I don't know, eight months before, towards the end of the sublime Pitt Street era. This is just a messed up track. There was nothing like it at the time. My name's Nick Fish, thanks for being here. Enjoy the tunes.
The last track had a bit of an old rave sound to it, didn't it? I think it was a uh, sample from the Hypnotist House's Mine a riff. And a mock, I think it was. If you know those tracks from the early 90 raves days, it was a bit of a mashup of those. My name's Nick Fish. You're in the back room at Voodoo Pit Street Sublime with me. Playing a real mixed bag of tracks that I played through the four to five years that we were in that back room. Underground sounds. Harder sound, trancier stuff. It was a real mixed bag of tunes. If you were there in the back room, you know what I'm talking about. Enjoy.
This was definitely one of my favourite backroom bangers back in the day. I posted a video on my page a few days ago which shows me playing this track in the club. You can just see the energy that's nuts. This is the track. It's called The Place by Misa. And wow, we're really cracking some huge numbers today. Really, really can't believe how many of you have tuned in for this. Really appreciate it. I'm going to get back to the tunes, guys. I'm in the zone. I'm in the mix. I hope you're with me. Nick Fish, Voodoo, Backroom, Original Style. Let's go.
just jump. I'll just jump in on this one quickly. Just jumping in on this one quickly to let you know. This is a track by Bexter. It's called The Light and it's called the Voodoo Remix. And this is a remix that I did of Bexter's track in the day. It's from a skirmish EP. Dedicated to all the people in the back room of Sublime, this track was. The Light. And that's Bexter's vocal in there. The only track she ever made that she actually sung a line. The Light I Found in You. My name's Nick Fish. You're listening to the back room sounds of Pitt Street Sublime. Big shout out to my brother, Jesse James. Best man at uh, my wedding. Friend for life. Helped me produce this track with his skills back in the day. Much respect to you, Jesse. Love you, brother. sci-fi freaks out there that sound that you're hearing in the background there that sound do you know what that is it's a sample from Doctor Who's the TARDIS when the TARDIS appears if you're a Doctor Who fan you'll know what I'm talking about true story The beat certainly does go straight on and on. What a sample. I love my late night sounding trance. 
the build-ups, the melodies, the synth breakdowns, did you? It's my favourite. Anyone a Boney M fan? A song called Rasputin. That's where it's from. Also got to send a big shout out to Baxter. Hey, Beck. I just heard she was online. Did you hear your track? I played your track. Thanks for letting me remix the track. Awesome track. Come on, let's go.
And then there are some songs like this. No words. Called Iron Eden. 
You would have heard this in the back room of Pitt Street Sublime towards the end of the era, and then you would have heard it cross over into the new Sublime at home. Just one of those tracks.
Fucking mix. <laughs> Eat your heart out. Woo! 
That, of course, is Demon Tomorrow. Epic E track. And this, of course, is Scott Project. Future is now. Forget the past. Nick Fish. The future is now. Forget the past. But enjoy the past. The present's gone. Until the gorgeous night. Outrageous, mind-blowing nightmares end up in a never-ending fight. Here we go.
Have a guess. Go on, have a guess what this is. It's not what you think, but it is. This is not RMI, by the way. This is a bootleg. It's called Who Killed Kenny? Yeah, like from South Park. It doesn't have any samples in it that say that. It's just what they've called it. As far as bootlegs go, it's not too bad. I usually hate them. Especially with my favourite song. It's kind of like a hard house UK version. But that's the style back in the day. It's good energy. I like it. Nick Fish approved. Down to the last 30 minutes. I'm just going to mix it up, freestyle, wherever we go. Who knows? Let's just do it. Backroom voodoo, sublime, Pitt Street. Sound of Berlin, members of Mayday, Sonic Empire. The Berlin sound was different to the Frankfurt sound. A little bit more electro inspired and influenced. DJ Westbam. One of the 
originators of the Love Parade in Berlin. My love of breakbeats from the rave days, kind of like why I was attracted to this kind of style of music as well, within the trance sounds. And hip hop. Broken beats, electro beats, break beats. Check it out. Gave the music a little bit of a groove away from the four to the floor banging stuff all the time, right? Here comes the floor to the floor, guys.
I recognize this track. It, uh, it's from a Love Parade CD that I put out, 1999. So it qualifies. I definitely would have played this in the back room. So the story goes. So anyway, the story goes. There was a party in Berlin called No UFOs. They pronounce it UFOs. They don't say UFOs. So it's called No UFOs. And it was called the Weekend of Love. So it was a party that was on for the Love Parade weekend. So whenever there's a Love Parade street party in Berlin with a million and a half people for the day and the night, afterwards there's after parties, of course. So I was fortunate enough to get a gig uh, at this party called No UFOs through my connection with Marcos Lopez, who's from Marmion, the group Marmion, the old rave group. And he connected me with the promoters and I sent them a demo and what I was playing and they invited me to play at the party. So I got to play in Berlin, 1999 Love Parade after party called No Ufos at Paul Van Dyke, Scott Project, uh, Tom Wax. Tom Wax actually did this song, which is called, the theme song, which is called The Weekend of Love. That's the cover. That's what the flyer also looks like. I'll find the flyer that I was on and I'll post it. You can fact check me on it. So yeah, I really got to play there, got to play in Berlin. And why is that so big when I'm talking about Pitch Street Sublime? Because I connected with the other side of the world to get this music to bring it back to play in Sydney for you guys that were there. That's why. The story continues. So this track I'm playing now is from a guy called... I've told this story before if you've tuned into my live streams and I've played it. He 
He's a well-known producer in Berlin called Namito. And he's actually from, I think it's Iran, or Iraq. Pardon me for that one. And he's uh, he was basically a, a refugee family that came to Berlin when he was a young kid, and he got into producing. And I met him through my connections playing at this No You First party. And he gave me this track that hadn't come out. This one here. Some of you might know it. Turned out to be a big track. It says, For my Australian friend Nick Fish, may we have many more nights like Love Parade Berlin 1999, Namito. That's what it says on the record. Pretty cool, huh? like telling you a little bit about the behind the scenes of my experiences in the in the music scene and all the different eras and the Pitt Street Sublime era was just an amazing thing for me and I know a lot of you that were there and for those that weren't this is the kind of um, the vibes and the experience that we were having there and what's really important this music came from all around the world predominantly a lot of it came from Europe like UK as well and um, a lot of it was from Germany that I played that I brought back or that I found in record stores. So to meet other producers overseas, the other side of the world, that would invite you to play at their parties, or just even invite you into their home, is just an amazing thing. And that's what this guy is, Namito. He took me to his family. He lived in a 
sort of a different part of Berlin where he took me to his family house after that weekend, Berlin Love Parade, and introduced me to his family and I had a meal, had one of their traditional meals from their home country. And that experience was just incredible. And then he gave me this vinyl record out of the blue. Hadn't heard it, he just said, take this vinyl, take this record back home to Australia and I hope you like it, I hope you play it. I liked it that much that I put it on a CD mix. So yeah, these are my stories that I share with you through the music that I play and how I came about playing these tracks. Why I play them, I like them, I love them. I got 10,000 of them. And I hope you love them too. Thanks very much for being with me. If you were here for the whole journey, two hours, more power to you. Thank you for giving up your time. I'm happy to give up my time for you guys. Music is my weapon. And one last bit about this track. Apparently it's taken from a Muslim prayer. So, very special to Namito. Very honoured to have this record from him. I think we have to do this again sometime. Just don't think uh, two hours did it justice. So much music from this era. So let's call this part one of the back room sublime. Part two, someday down the track for you. Really appreciate one of the biggest turnouts today ever. Um, if you're in lockdown in Sydney, like like my wife Sarah and my daughter Tilly and I, uh, we're just losing our minds right now so music is our, our outlet so hopefully for some of you if you're in the same boat hopefully that's two hours of just taking you away from all the shit and you've enjoyed this I love playing for you guys and I'll do it as much as possible and I had a few people asking about doing a sublime at home type of set so why not let's do it shall we do it next next week same time shall we do it I'm just checking with my wife Sarah we can do this <laughs> So we're going to do it, Sublime at Home, the other side, when we moved down and hit 2000 era, music stepped up a game, different. We'll be there next Saturday afternoon, 3 to 5, Sublime at Home, special tribute set. I'm Nick Fish, thanks for listening to me. You guys are awesome, wherever you are, please just keep putting in comments, share this with your friends. Love you guys, and I'm going to finish how I started with a twist. Let's do it. See you later, guys. Thank you very much.
is to all the voodoo people.